what? I have some new equipment. My phone's better. Everything can still be improved. So I love you guys for just coming and hanging out. And I never want to waste your time. Daily energy readings. Let's talk about the what's happening. It has been difficult. A lot of people are having difficulty. I get it. Let's talk about it. Let's do a little astrology. These are astrological oracle cards. I can tell you a lot of the major planets that give us these vibes are in retrograde. There's a lot of difficult squares. The only planet that isn't is Mercury and it's flying faster than the sun. Neptune, this is the big player. Neptune makes us do these deep dives literally into the water. Ruling water. Neptune, let's get two because just, let me see, let me get my notes. Mars, okay, first we have Mercury squaring Neptune, Venus squaring Neptune, and Mars squaring Neptune. Never mind this whole Pluto retrograde that we're feeling. The world, the United States, all of us. So stick with me. I want to tell you more about this. So with the retrograde, you're going to feel like you need to do this deep dive, do a review. The full moon's coming in Capricorn and Uranus. That even expands it even more. Woo Take a breath. Well, I hate to use cliches, but this too shall pass. This is very expansive energy, um, difficult squares, as I mentioned, coming up. And let me give you a little more insight. I want to share this with you guys. These oracle cards are by Lune Lunea Weatherstone. Now, <clears throat> this is profound. It really is. In her words, when you see these two together in a reading, please be open to profound understanding of the world soul and boy have we needed that sorry neptune uranus the world soul let compassion for all humanity guide your actions so that's important we really need to be like that Kindness starts within, though, and I know many of you felt some serious loss and pain. Just personally and globally. So let's just uh, keep everybody in our prayers and understand personally where you are and it's okay and you will heal, but healing is a journey. So let's continue. All right. So what I'm going to do for you is called, ooh, it's coming right out, a work cycle spread. And it's a little like a Celtic cross. So it's a few cards about the recent past. This is amazing. Major kind of cards, one after another. About the past. Okay. We have the star, the empress, the star 17 is eight, progress and motivation. Three, the empress, creativity and growth. Oh my gosh. Nine of wands, that's that fire energy. Nine, action and courage. The sun, this is the current energy. Boy, you did a lot of work. And manifestation and growth and action and courage. Some of you may even be pregnant. This can also be about the birth of new projects. Let's see what else comes in. That's the recent past, the current, what you hope for and what the outcome is. Seven of Swords. So currently, uh, a little bit of conflict came in 
confusion in your mind, perhaps about where to go next with this path, but keep in mind the, the light guiding you. A, just divinely blessed. The moon, the stars, the sun here. Looking to the future, looking to the future. Dreaming, manifesting. This is uh, feathers here. This is air energy. And that even is a crow or a raven. Crows, both are blessings. Crows... A uh, very, just like almost uh, like a, a totem animal and a raven too, but the ravens are a little bit more about transformation. You know, obviously that's happening, but let's see. So this is one more for current energy. Thank you guys for sticking around. Comment if you need any information from me. And I will touch base. Too many. <clears throat> Breathe with me. Let's concentrate. Connect. But yes. Um, I'm available for astrology and all kinds of things. So just comment. Happy to help. I also go live on TikTok. Wow. I knew that was on. Four of Cups. Something got, you got into an emotional situation here where you've, you're really being offered that fourth cup but not wanting it. Some dissatisfaction coming in there. Um, it has to do with this path forward and putting down roots and it's got you really up in your emotions about it, which is what we talked about about here in the beginning. Bring compassion and love to you first and then the situation. Just try. You may have tried every way of approaching this. Um, so, you're still not quite satisfied. Don't forget though, what you are able to manifest. Endings and beginnings with 19 becoming a 10 and then a 1 in numerology. Okay. Now, hope and outcome, hope and outcome, hope and outcome. Aha. The beginnings I was talking about. You're ready. Took you a minute. You really had to review and get your strength and balance, but you have it. You are truly manifesting some wonderful things with a lot of knowledge in just this crystal, let's say. Gender fluid, that is beautiful. What do I have here, seven cards? I'm gonna pull one more, but one, two, three, four of the seven our major arcana cards. Wow. If you're not familiar with Lightseer's Tarot, let me share that with you. This is by uh, Chris Ann, and she has beautiful things to say as well. But let's go with the, let's do the major arcana cards. So the star in her words, the star, the star, the star, the star. 17. I expect miracles. I am ready to just plant the seeds of abundance, right? And give birth to an abundant future, figuring out my path. Then the sun, that 19. I am whole. I am more than enough. I shine like the sun when I am happy. Here, you're working through it, moving forward to this. And let's see what Chrisanne says about the fool. I 
I am ready for this adventure down my soul path. And don't forget the compassion to the whole soul of humanity. That reading fits like a puzzle, as I always say. As I always say, and I'm so grateful. I would like to pull one more little info for you guys from Work Your Lights. And this is by Rebecca Campbell. All right, this extra card, which is going to be those guys right there, is for you. Just for you. Thank you for being here and connecting with me. Pallades, you're here on a double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. That is big time. That is really going along with the Neptunian Uranus energy of healing your soul and then helping others and the big love for humanity. Thank you for being that person. The initiation rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Beautiful. Um, for those that I have lost recently, I'm blessed they're here with us. And if you have lost people too, I send you hugs. But this too is you opening up, awakening, enlightening. This is becoming your your path through the storm. These snakes are transformation. This is your way out. This is your third eye. And, and everything opening. It's you. It's why you're here. And I thank you for being here. I love you. Peace.